I was asking me to say he had lost a tooth. He wanted me to check out his tooth. And are you a dentist? No. Well, then why are you looking at his teeth? Okay. You... Again, there's nothing wrong with looking at his teeth. But you offered to... Oh, but there is. Our investigative team confronted a man performing dental work without a license in his mobile home. He can give you a new smile, but our team caught him breaking the law. And real dentists say he does pose an enormous threat to public health. Foreign your side investigator Ryan Luby tracked him down to find out why he doesn't seem to know right from wrong. It's easy to break rules if no one's watching. Yet, even way out here off the back roads in Chimayo. Here we go. Behind the blight and an aggressive line of defense, <laughs> a man named Curtis Abeda learned that someone finally caught him. The guy's standing behind you. Oh, he wanted me to look at his teeth. Yeah, he works for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is Johnny, who usually works behind the scenes at KOP, but who agreed to be our fake patient so we could act on an anonymous tip. Oh, well, how is it what you're doing is legal? He just asked me to look at his teeth. I'm not doing anything illegal. All right, but you offered to put something in his mouth, right? No. You know, a fake tape or something like that. Sir, we recorded you on the phone. No, I didn't. Hello, is this Curtis? Curtis didn't realize we were rolling. Hi, is this uh, Curtis? Hi, is this Curtis? Each time Johnny called him to set up and discuss an appointment. Johnny said he had a bad tooth. Curtis said he could help. If you pull that tooth, I can make you one. He said he can take molds and make and repair dentures and partials. He even broke down his cash-only price. Yeah, one, one tooth. One tooth, 80 bucks. 80 bucks? Yeah. What, I what, just do the work out here in my lab, and I do the work in the lab as a lab, no? And what kind of, I mean, what kind of lab is this? It's a lab for, it's not a lab, it's my house. Okay. Is it hygienic? Is it safe? Yeah, of course. How so? Well, you use sterilization, sterilization stuff, you know? Although we asked to take a look around his home lab, he wouldn't let us. <laughs> These are sterilized as well. That leaves a longtime dentist like Dr. Marty Armijo in Albuquerque fearing for public health. One of the most important concerns is uh, what protocol are being follow followed as far as infection control. You see, before anyone gets an exam here, Dr. Armijo puts safety first. To make sure all of his tools that poke, prod, scrape, and spray are germ-free. He has to. So these are our two sterilizers here. State law forces our Miho to inspect his equipment on a regular basis and log the results. Bad equipment could spread disease. Diseases with lifelong consequences like hepatitis, even AIDS. You're at risk all the time. State law also says Armijo has to physically authorize a lab to make those dentures and partials for his patients unless he wants to make the devices himself. Without orders from a real dentist, the labs cannot work with patients on their own. That's the problem in Chimayo. He did touch my mouth. Our Johnny so tasted a, and then nearly got treated by a man who's never had a dental license and who certainly never got authorization from Johnny's dentist to make a fake tooth. There's no telling how many people he's treated before. But you don't see anything wrong with that? No. Okay. Well, I mean, the way I understand it is, I mean, you're not supposed to just do dental work in, in, out of your home like well, this. Better look study at people up some see. more better on that, no? Yeah. You better study up on it. Do you have any paperwork so showing me anything? Well, I've, I've, read, study I've, on I've read state law, sir, and it says what it says. Well, no, that's not what it says. In his mind, Curtis Abeda believes we have the rules wrong and that what he's doing inside his rundown mobile home is right. That's the main part. I don't work in nobody's mouth, so I'm not doing anything illegal. <laughs> I can tell you that we already have the attention of state inspectors and state police. And Ryan, I would imagine the consequences could be pretty serious. Yes, they are. We're talking about possible criminal charges and jail time here. And actually, tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, we'll detail what those charges could be. And we'll let you hear from the people going after this case and why they say this is the most significant case they've had in a very long time. Okay, good work.